I was thinking about getting uh, today dressed up with the same, with the same, uh, uh, the same shirt, but I, forgot. <laughs> I, I had it in laundry, so today I'm just only t-shirt. Uh, only. But, but last time you had, you had the white one on, right? Yes, the last time I was the white one, and I also said then that I have also a green one. There's now we want a black one. <laughs> yeah, also cool. Yeah. Is, is it cold where you are? Is it cold outside? No, no. It's cold outside. Yes, a little bit cold outside. It's five or six degrees. Five or six degrees? No, yes. it's not. It's not the up, your up, degrees. Is it? It's our oh, yeah, up to, up to, no, or yeah. Celsius degrees. You got to break this down to me. Yeah, well, we don't. Oh, you got to break that down to us because I think nobody else than you guys. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Jump that, uh, yes. that way. Well, it's yeah, not we are live. I think we just yeah. wait a few yeah. minutes. Yeah, we're live. There's a few people coming on. No. Eric, you gonna come to the when are you gonna come to uh Seymour, Missouri? <laughs> when you pay everything for me. Uh, I can't pay everything <laughs> no, for me. I no, I the, that's much more much more other people have the same question. And I do anything the most things I do with Jack. And we have discussed it together. And now we said I can help you also because I have a little problem uh, with my head. I have a little uh, accident, so I don't can uh, things remember everything so fast. And he knows my big problem. Yes, I got to know, got I do yes or got to do no. And I have also the same question to Bart when it's, I think a year ago. I give him the same question and he said the same to me. You are a man of practicum and not the man of theory. Just, well, that's a little bit. I, just, I figured if you came to the silver school, then I could, mm -hmm. get, I could get some hands on tracking training. <laughs> yeah. A lot of more people <laughs> ask that. <laughs> It'd be easier for you to come to me than me come to you. <laughs> you know why you can visit also Joe, Dominic and me it's eight hours away from each other well, you just invite him for a seminar he, yeah uh, Eric and, and Jack it's also yeah. a possibility it's also a possibility Dominic wants a scent of uh, wanted for a seminar getting a Alright. Okay. So I think we yeah, we just wait thirty <laughs> seconds and then I think we start, right? Lewis yes. looks like I'm in jail. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in jail. He's, he's quite right. <laughs> he's quite yeah. right. You look like <laughs> but, uh, I uh this is actually behind me is like a massive so TV screen, but it's like a projector screen. Uh, I'm in uh, a in, yeah. So my partner lives in Pittsburgh, and so that's my okay. connect connection here to Pittsburgh. So I'm in his I'm in his basement. So All right. So you're not in jail. No, you're not. In, yeah, <laughs> maybe <laughs> a little jail. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, try to find some. Yeah, I've also got news over there. Yeah. <laughs> I got all my my dogs piled up over here in the room. In the room. Oh, ah, no, my dogs don't come in in the room. No way. They live also outside. Oh, yeah. They're anyway. Mine. Mine are so you never take them inside? Never. Wow. When it's, when it's, when it's a puppy for... To 12 to 14 weeks they come sometimes inside but then they go outside and never get in inside the dogs also know when in the summer the door is open the dogs never come inside they look with the head okay no it's no <laughs> uh, 
Maar outside, they do everything. And that's hun world. Only when All I right. put some, some food in the grass, they go trekking. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Uh, when, sometimes you post it in the story. Yes. And then you say breakfast and you just throw on the... Yes. Sometimes on the, on the, yes. sometimes on the Facebook or Instagram, I put some little stories, a little bit. How do you yeah. tracking? What do you tracking? Uh, how can you do uh, with that problem? And I yeah. also uh, give something wrong also. Yeah. So yeah. And then I give the question, what can you do then? Yeah. But the most of the time... I give my dogs food in the garden. Uh, yep. I put some uh, tickles over there, and and they they got a look and uh, look around. Uh, so and then I I make some noise so they don't look up. They only search for the for some kibbles or something else. And sometimes I groove it. <laughs> But that's not that's not so <laughs> much that I like it because when there is nothing, they also yeah they they, uh, they dig their hole they your, grip your whole yes, yard. In, 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 digging in my in my yard <laughs> and then I'm not so happy. <laughs> well, right, guys, do you want to start? Yeah, before we get started, let me see if am I pointing in the right direction? I have a delay on the phone. Anyway, right above this post, there's a. a a link streamyard.com slash Facebook. If, um, if you'll click on that and then just, uh, is there's like one little checkbox or two or something. It's real simple though. You can give Streamyard permission for us to use your comments on here. So otherwise, like if, for example, if we show your comment, um, appreciate it, Lewis. Um, if you show, if we show your comment, we can't really tell who's, you know, who it's coming from. So, um, otherwise, but if you give StreamYard permission, then, then we can do it right there. Anyway, so we appreciate that. Just helps us feel like we're talking to people and people are talking to us and it's not a ghost. So. <laughs> not a ghost, no. I, I get sometimes messages from ghosts <laughs> with, with some... There's questions, I think. No, I don't give that answer on it. <laughs> Sophie says, uh, she's the magic behind the new website and a lot that's going on, I think. so. Mm, no, I think the new website is not all ready. Then, all right. All... all right, guys, so we're just going to get started. Um, I'm Mike. And then, of course, your your host, and then Dominic, co-host, or you can switch that around if you want, whichever, however, whatever makes you feel good. But hey, listen, we're glad you're with us. Um, and we have Eric here, episode number what number is this? Five. 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 So the last time we did our, our episode, the other one was three, right? The first episode that we did on tracking. Yep. Yeah, I think there were some unanswered questions, and then people had messaged a few extra questions, you know, that uh, they were curious about. And so here we are, round number two of that, and we're going to just uh, kind of work through it and um, see where we go. So with that, Dominic. Yeah, thanks for joining in, guys. And yeah, we have some questions left that um, yeah that we got over uh, the uh, private messenger, and I think we're just gonna start off. Um, Eric, thanks for joining in. Thanks for coming the second All right. time and uh, talking to us. And, thank you uh, yeah, very much we, for the opportunity. Yeah, thank you for coming. I don't think we j we have to reintroduce you uh, because people know you. You're tracking tracking guru. I think, and uh, yeah, just start off uh, with the first question that we have. So I think we have we have uh, three parts that I, I split that in three parts. The first is ideas for tracking. Um, the second is um, some discussions. People always have this versus that. And the other uh, part is 
difficult problems, how we can solve that, or how you would solve these problems. All right, um, I think we just start off a little bit with general topics. And the first thing is, are you digging jackpots on the track? So you see a lot of times and a lot of videos people show on their track. For example, they start on the sand pad where the track is starting and they dig like a jackpot. It's like a, a chicken feed or something else. Is that a good idea? Do you do that? Or what do you think about that? Uh, what I think about it, it's a, a good idea and it's not a good idea. Because the good idea is, yes, you can show the dog your jackpot or something later or something on the track. You put in some, what you said, the chicken feet or something like that. You put it on, uh, dig it in the ground and the dogs must uh, stop and uh, dig it and he pick it up. Uh, you get take more motivation for the dog that the dog want that uh, he got more working with his nose for the, the, the smelling the the opportunity of that but you also learn the dog more digging for something so when then you have some problem later on when you do some uh, competition or yep. championship and the dog thinks he smells something he go to digging and then yeah you got no points for that yep. and that's a little bit the problem my i also do that sometimes on the end of the track yeah that's not so problem then he knows okay when i do that we are finished but you also have the, the little problem with competition or uh, championships or something that the dog thinks he finds something and he got to do uh, yeah. that in the grass or sand field or whatever you do tracking this i i'm a little bit okay it's good for dogs who want uh, you want more motivation on the track, yeah. Or you so can do that for, uh, yeah, a little bit more uh, fun for the dog. So he he is happy when he he find the 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 behavior of that. Okay. I also I can I tell you, I also can tell you, sometimes I do the same, yeah. but the dog don't take that from. Uh, me, he, he don't want. He, he uh, I gotta say it. I do a track. Yeah. I dig a little bit a uh, hole when I put some chicken feet. I uh, we mean, and a little bit out. And the dog must do tracking for me. My he don't. Got to take that because when I'm tracking on a field for a championship and I lay something, he don't pick it up. Okay. This it's a little bit. Hmm. How deep you want to go in tracking? I think it's it's always a little bit the mix of yeah, like like also the part says the mix of motivation and concentration. When you have too much motivation, yes. you lose your concentration, and when you have too much concentration, the dog looks flat and is not really happy in what he's doing and, and doesn't show expressions of, of of himself. I don't know if that's the wrong. Yes. Uh, yes. Right yes. Word. Why you? Yes. Yes, you you give him the, the, the right answer. When you see my my uh, Malua uh, tracking, he's also yep. calm and he take it easy. He's, and sometimes when I do that, he's a little bit wow. Uh, I think I do it good. All right, and yep. he goes farther. And 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 then you can uh, do that that thing uh, digging with some chicken feet or something. Yep. It's, it's, yeah, you give you the answer. Yeah. <laughs> it's a more motivation or of the other things. Yeah, so somebody um, asked when you're tracking, do you prefer a harness or a collar and, and why? Why? 
Uh, okay, I prefer I do trekking with boat. I learn my dogs trekking with an in a collar, and I do trekking with a harness. Uh, harness also butcher. And why I learn my dogs the boat? When you're on a championship and you got far away for the field, you're walking and you off you on the, uh, 50 meters away, and you think, "Fuck." I forget my harness. <laughs> then you have no problem. Because, <laughs> yes, yeah, you're laughing, man. I can tell you. I mean, that's a good why. Happened. That's a good reason, you know. Yeah, that's for me the good reason. <laughs> so, and I think, fuck, I forgot my harness. Okay, I walk together because my dog can also track in with an leashes now. Okay. Now, when you have a more, a faster dog, you can make him the learn tracking with a butcher because the lease is, is more uh, behind the dog and when he takes a corner he don't step uh, everything's in the line and you can put him more away so he's uh, more uh, putting his nose uh, to the field no. <coughs> he, then he go not so go for so far fast but the most reason for me is learn your dog do tracking on a harness and do tracking on a lee of a, on a collar. So when you're on the field and you forgot something, you always can do tracking. Yeah. And, and just to clarify um, what we mean by a harness, it's not a, a go on a walk harness that some people no, use. No, no, it's no, a, no. It's a special tracking harness that only it's more track uh, goes on the belly and uh, the leash is on just the leash. clipped in under the belly. Right uh, between the legs. So just yes, yes. That. The the German words. It's butcher. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I have not another word for that. Also, you have some harness with also uh, some rings uh, on the belly, and you yeah. can also do that. But not the harness when you walk with your dog. So it's normally pet dogs have that. No, then the go so the, and the, then and the, the clip go, is on the back. Yes, yes, yes. And that's also not a problem. Right? Also, there are some people who it on the back. My the dog was more uh, tracking on the lease. And yeah. then you have no, no no issues with the dog. I would yeah. say that don't understand to, it. Like if you're going to do any kind of box feeding too, you know, go ahead, even from the beginning before... Uh, or n maybe not before you start tracking, because you, certainly you can start tracking, you know, as soon as you start box feeding or before. But, <clears throat> you know, use back pressure on your, the collar and on a, a harness as well when you're box feeding. And that translates to, you know, to tracking. So, yes, that was the same way. The, the, yes, the same clips where you uh, the last time, which I think it was box feeding from Dominic. Box. When uh, when Lars Lenz, yeah, he's he's give him some uh, ball of food and he take yeah. him on the lease or something right. and yes, that's that's be the same, that's the, that's be the same and that was also the reason that I said to every footsteps is a box is a box. Yeah, gotcha. You pull, nay, let go, pull. He eats the food, pull. Like, Sean, and you and that, and that, that when you're tracking? Okay. I think I saw you do that at um, Gold School, Dominic. I think I was watching you track, but that point. Yeah, there the, was. Yeah. With the, yeah I, think he, I think he was learning for something for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes I listen. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yes, <laughs> sometimes you listen. <laughs> no, that's not the problem. Yeah, I think that, I think that's a pretty good explanation. I mean, uh, yeah, if you go on, on the championship and you forgot your harness, you can go back thirty miles. I don't know, yeah. five hundred meters yeah. and to, because you lost something. And also, uh, yeah, you have, like you said, you have a little bit better control because your the the leash uh, on the belly when you use a harness is it's, it's not so complicated with the dog's feet when when, when then sometimes it wraps around the feet and you have to go to the dog and. Uh, Unwrap that all, and <clears throat> I tried both, and um, I, I have to say that that tracking on harness is pretty cool. It's it's a lot easier than than most people would think. 
So just give it a try. Yes. You can't do nothing wrong. Yes, and and a butcher. I, I prefer more um, the the butcher. The butcher is is it's very, very good because yeah. it's more uh, the leases to the to the the, the color. Yeah, it's a little bit just be the same when you put the your, your lease and you give them some more uh, attention on the lease. It's yeah. also put them on the color, yeah. and when you have the harness on the back, no, they give more attention over his, his shoulders and that yeah, is yeah. not what you want and you, then you don't have control over your dog yeah, yeah that's right another question we got is a little bit related i think to maybe digging jackpots and the question is how do you keep the dogs motivated on tracks that are very long if you train for uh, I think FH1, FH2 that are very long tracks that uh, yeah are laying down uh, a long time, and uh, they are. I think FH2 is about two thousand steps, right? Eighteen hundred. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, eight, yeah, eight two thousand, two thousand one. It's it's a little bit right like that. Yes. So how do you keep your dogs motivated when you fade away slowly the food on uh, such long tracks? <laughs> I give you one answer. <laughs> Always give the dog hope. Oh. Now, yes, also you give the dog hope. My, I, I know, I know what you mean. Uh, when you do tracking for more than uh, it's it's thousand or two thousand, three thousand, four thousand for me, five or six thousand steps. Uh, yesterday I was uh, tracking oh, with my uh, <laughs> I was tracking with my little dog and I said and then my and Jack said you got to take more steps I say ah maybe 300 steps I say yeah 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 and I take the movie on for the dog and I send them uh it was probably 700 steps <laughs> <laughs> now this Okay, this what you do for the motivation when you are training the dog to more uh, steps and, and the, the track is longer and the, the, the time is longer. Yeah. When I do that, I do probably most more articles on the track mm -hmm. and by some, maybe the two or the third uh, articles, sometimes with with. Uh, after the, the first uh, second uh, of the article when I uh, see the article to introduce the article I walk to my dog and I don't give him feed no I pick up my ball or something what he like and throw him away and stand and I standing by the article because yeah. the next time we got to leave over there so I put the ball away in get the ball and I put the ball some two times, three times, some one time. He comes back, he give I give he gives me the ball, I put the ball away and he goes to the article and put the article away and I say Suk track and the dogs go. The next article and he thinks, okay, the ball is coming. No food. Next article. Yeah, yeah. the ball is coming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the ball is coming. So I do motivate the dog. And sometimes, when we have the, the first question, I do a little bit digging some food in the ground. And that's not always. That's probably yeah. which dog I have. When I put my older dog, <laughs> he walks away because he don't like that food because he knows I don't pick up. When I pick up that guy, I have a problem with my boss. <laughs> There's the most of the time you want to motivate your dog more on uh, the long uh, track. You've got to put some other things out of the box. So the yeah. article, or sometimes, always, uh, sometimes I do, when he's tracking on a long track and there are no articles, he walks. And when I, f I think, okay, it's good, click, click, dogs come out of, of them, comes to me, give him food, 
track. And then you go track again. Yeah. And then you go track again. So you can put him a little bit out of the tracking. He is out of his mind. He's 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 a little bit uh, happiness. And I say, go around. And yeah, so I build up a little bit of motivation more and more and more for the dog. So when he smells some article, that's a, sometimes a little bit problem because when I smell the article because the wind is blo- coming to him, yeah. yeah, then he wants to go faster. <laughs> yeah, so it's a little bit like a gambling game to keep the motivation high and keep the dopamine levels high. So yeah. Yes, yes, R- really yes. Good idea. I give him always hope that uh, there is something. It's gonna be a yeah. jackpot. It cannot be a ball. The ball is also a jackpot for him because. Yeah. The, my, I have also some eggs for him, and he likes eggs <laughs> very, very much. <laughs> yeah, but well, it's a pretty good idea. Awesome. I have that's, a, that's... Um, so I, I know that I, you'd mentioned before. Whenever you you always put your your food or kibble, whatever you're using, in the in the heel of the foot of the yes. track, right? Um, yeah. Typically, I guess because that's the deepest part of of the of the track. Is that is that why, or it's just to be consistent in spacing, or you know what I mean? Do you, does that make sense? Uh, why I do the most thing? I do the cable in the hill of of the steps. You want why I do that? Uh, the, the first time I, I, I when I the most time because when the b- wind is blowing it's not more smell to him because when it's in the hill you have a little bit of b- uh, break point and also he got his nose down under because he never put it all, uh, up and walk away walk away walk away no he got always a little bit like uh, in the box the nose go down in the box and I give him a little bit of tension and I think, okay, it's good. Go. There yeah, was, there so, was, so uh, what, what you mean is a little bit like a hole in the ground when you, when you go. Yes. With your I, foot put, like this I put my, like... yes, 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 yes. I put my foot uh, down and then I put more my hill in the ground and yeah, yeah, yeah. I put some cable and sometimes I put some cable and put my foot again on the gable yeah, and yeah. then walk away so that's that's also a little bit uh, more digging in the ground all right yeah, and that was sense. also uh, the last last time i asked this a question uh, i don't i got it um, it wasn't a question uh, do you have uh, all all the time food in your steps no i learn my dogs put uh, all the steps before he go. This yeah. he always smells in every steps, and that sometimes people think thinks that my dogs uh, have uh, food in every step. No, not in every step. Yeah, they, they just learn that it goes. It ju- just goes to the next step if you if you go and sniff step by step. Otherwise, it, there's no moving forward. Yes. And then he go fast, 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 and he yeah. go line with his nose uh, yeah. right track on. Dominic mentioned it earlier before we went live, of course, but um, somebody who uh, teaches their dog blindfolded to track. And I think that actually I've seen – I'm not sure, but I think I saw Cashy does that. It may not be him. Really? Yes, I, I think it's also we do it some. Uh, I have also see it that I he did, oh, did that. Yeah, there was also no so on on some other body, uh, somebody. Yes, uh, there are some people give me the same question uh, because the dog. Yeah, my dog looks around, looks around, and 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 he's not uh, do tracking uh, because uh, when it's some people walk over uh, to the to the field, uh, he looks and. I can tell you, the dog, when your dog do blind uh, tracking, hey, the dog have ears, he can hear, there's something going on, 
Dus he got also thinks he got a look. And also, when the dogs do tracking, he don't see his nose. Dus he always go to the ground for sniffing what for, for the kibbles or something. Yep. And sometimes the dogs put uh, his nose up and, and, and only the most people think, yeah, but I can see the article. No, he don't can see the article. He can sniff the article. This my meaning of uh, the dog. You get blind. Okay, it's funny. I don't believe it's more more uh, I don't think it would help. It seems like yes. you know um like I think scene. the dog is more frustrated. Yeah. I mean I think you would have to fade it in, you know, on top of a dog. I, it would be difficult. <laughs> Obviously you couldn't just start a dog doing that. But if you had a dog that you um I don't know, you may have to start with other like for example, maybe you could start if you were going to do that, maybe the progression would be in a, I hate to keep bringing up box feeding. It sounds like I'm mm -hmm. trying to. <laughs> but, hey, but you know, if you uh, did box feeding blind, maybe that would be a good first step. If you were going to go that route and teach a dog that you wanted him to focus with his nose. Um, yeah. Just an idea. I don't know. I've never done yeah, that. Yeah. It's, it, 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 you can do that. And I also said, when you do your dog blind his eyes and, and do for tracking, it, I can tell you it's not so problem, but it don't uh, help him that he don't can look somewhere because he has ears, he can hear yeah. there's something uh, outside of there. And then I he think... also... Sorry. Yeah? No? So, so I think why, why people... Um do that or I mean first thing is it looks very cool it looks like what nobody else is doing uh, and also I think the people that do that they will check if the dog is really 100% sniffing with a nose and not a mix of sniffing and looking so yes, yes. what I think would be, would be easier if you want to do and want to try that is if you go tracking in the dark Yes, I think yeah. that would also yes. be a possibility to check yeah, yeah. if the dog's looking or if he's sniffing. That's a good point. Yes, that's a, that's a good, yes, a good point. Yes, I have also do tracking in the dark <laughs> with my headlight, <laughs> <laughs> with my headlight because <laughs> I don't know where I am. I, I, sometimes I believe my dog. <laughs> now, my yeah, that's, that's more an impossible. Is, that's more impossible. Sure, it's a good yes. point. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's more the impossibility to do it uh, when it's dark and then. Uh, so, <laughs> what's happened over there? Yeah, my dog just yes, kicked my... over or something. <laughs> yes, my dad, that's more, yeah, you can more do that in the dark. It's, 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 it's funny when you see some people do that, but I don't. It brings yeah. not more. Uh, things to the dog or to the yeah. track. No, no, no. That's the reason I also lay my dogs. The, the most movies when you see my dogs do tracking, before tracking, my dogs lay on the ground. So he can look yeah. around, he can hear everything, so he knows, okay, I'm here, I have seen everything, now I got to work. Awesome. So we also got some some questions um, with uh, like like I mentioned before problem solving. So I think the most common problem is for the people um, how to fade away the food from the track. So if you want to prepare for a trial, you got to fade away someday uh, the food from the track. I mean, there are also people that train till the day before of the trial with food on the track and on the day of the trial there's no food so this might work but for me personally this was, would be too dangerous because otherwise the, the dog's sniffing and he says hey there's no food so and he's looking up so what are we doing here so how do you start off fading away the food from from tracking when you prepare for a trial 
Yes. Uh, mm. I learned my dogs for the first times when we do tracking, there's uh, uh, kibbles in every footsteps. Mm. Then later on, there in one footstep, well foot, the other footstep, no foot, the other footstep, no foot, the other footstep is foot. And then we go more and more. So the first times in every steps are foot. Yep. The next time in three steps are foot. In five steps are foot. In seven steps are foot. In nine steps are foot. Uh, Eleven steps are foot. And then in three times, uh, three steps are foot. Does the dogs don't know more? When it's feet, when it's when it's foot on the in the step, or yeah. there is no foot in the step. And later on, much later on, I do uh, some little track with foot, the corner, and there's no foot. Yeah. Some 20, 30 steps. There's an article, and later on, another article. There are foot. So the dogs thinks when you are on a competition or something yeah. and the dogs get the pool. Hey, there's no food. Ah, I think when I have my article, there is food. And later on, no, no. And then you have no, not the, the discussion with your dog or there is food or there is no yeah. food. And when I go to a competition weeks before the competition begins, I learn my dog tracking, left, right, corners, no corners, uh, long distance, uh, short distance, more articles, yeah. uh, everything. And uh, later on the weeks and later to the competition, I learn my dog more. No food, with food, little food, or much more food. And the day before, my competition, I always take a little mm, more his jackpot, his food for the day yeah. to the pole. I bring my dog to the pole. I say, track the dog's bah! food. <laughs> and I put him away. I take my car. And the next day, it's tracking time. And the, don and the dog comes to the pool. He's sniffing, he's sniffing, and he thinks, fuck, what's my jackpot? And he goes. And I can tell you, it works. Yeah, I think that's related to what you what you were talking about before, building hope and motivation and playing the gambling game and, and playing the dopamine from the dogs. And yeah, I think that's a good yes, explanation. And, 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 and that's that's the reason that I can tell you for <laughs> more than 95%. Yeah. I can do your dog always tracking. Mitz, it's the dog. It's ill or something. Oh, here we have. Or... Here we have another question. We're we're trying to motivate you here, so. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's ever come to the civil school. Yeah. If we keep pushing, <laughs> we'll come. Uh, it's uh, uh, Sophie. Help me, <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> I think it was in March. It's in March. Yeah. March, yeah. Uh, 15, 13, 15. I don't know, you know. Yeah, and Alpha 30 March, I give him a seminar. <laughs> yeah, right after that, you can come to. Yeah. <laughs> right after that, no you, could, you, yeah. you, you take it, your, yeah. you fly to him. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Well, we have. A comment from Toon, and uh, I think we, we I forgot that totally that uh, dogs can look very good in the dark. That's related to what we were talking about um, tracking in the dark. Uh, yeah, that's that's correct. I forgot about that. The yeah, that's dog, that's correct. The dog, the dark, right? Yeah, dogs dogs can also good see in the dark. Yes, yeah, that that's not so the problem. My he cannot see uh, very close in the dark. He, when he see and when the dog looks in, in the in the in the in the dark, he also see uh, some 
uh, <laughs> Sophie gave me the answer, <laughs> 50, <laughs> 70 March. <laughs> Uh, the dogs see only in shim of uh, in the dark from a person of an animal yeah. or something, and not what it's uh, close to in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I had so, I, I actually I had another question, but I can't yeah hit this one, and I have a question of my own, but I'll have to. It's uh, listen, eighteen hours on the road or seventeen hours on the road. It's hard to think, and when I can think, <laughs> fine, but it'll come. It'll come back to me. So yeah, yeah. during mm -hmm. gold, I used the box with leash under right leg with collar pressure to push head back down into the box, really rewarding what I was looking for. I think that's exactly the same. Uh, what you explained in the first episode, how you start with the tracking. There's food you pull. Food, pull, release, food, pull, release, food. I think you can do that the same with, um, yeah, collar pressure or leash pressure. But I mean, uh, when you go on the, on the tracking field and all competition, uh, you don't have like, I think what collar, what he means with the collar, um, you only have your leash in your hand. So you have to make mechanical work. So I think yes. that's, that's I, pretty I, much the same like you do. Yes, I can also a little bit explain. Uh, I see uh, the leashes on the, the right leg. Uh, it, it's not so problem when it's the right leg or the left right, uh, leg. Yeah. I only prefer more the dog, uh, his leash on his belly, on his four feet, not left or right, because when you uh, take some tension on the dog, the dog always give some more when the, the, the leash is to the... Yes, the dog, you see do mm. that and when it's on his belly the dog can only do that yeah and when you uh, put some more to, to the left or to the right the dogs go always and yeah you have no control on the dog i think it's yeah. my meaning eh? my so we'll and uh, the other one yeah how can i say it in some states or some countries it's not allowed with an e-collar tracking or do training with an e-collar but when you very good and you know how you can do train with your e-collar you can also do that with the e-collar but that's you understand what the e-collar can do sure for me it goes back to you can probably guess. <laughs> For me, it goes back to the box, you know, teaching pressure into the box, pressure into yeah. the track. You know, if you're going to use it, then um, so. Yes, yes. Yeah, I can tell you I, sometimes I do. my. <laughs> it's not allowed in the Netherlands. Also in yeah. Germany and in some other countries, it's not allowed with the e-collar. Somebody yeah. posted shit. Shit happens. Know, I'm gonna look and see who posted this. Ah, this is Joris. <laughs> yeah, can, if you do your silver school, you can come to the gold school and me place, and I give you a real big. <laughs> that would be that would be at the uh, at the Lions Den, I think. Yes, but yeah. when when I when I I look for a multiplayer, I got to see uh, to Mike because. Uh, I saw he's do tracking. <laughs> That's in Texas. Right. So you have to watch out for fire ants down there. You better be way past food before you go to Texas and yeah. track. Mm, yeah. yeah. Down there, the ants do the tracking. So. <laughs> and that was sometimes ants just <laughs> give me some. I have some people for you. <laughs> yeah. he wants to do tracking so we have one more question uh, that we had uh, reach out to our private messenger and that's I think a good question and we were laughing at that question right before we went live so um, what do you do with a dog that has no food drive or is it is it even possible to track with a dog that has no food drive or what do you do when you have a dog that has no food drive PSA. 
<laughs> Mondio ring. <laughs> go Mondio ring. Yeah. Yeah, there you no. go. <laughs> no, yeah. Why you do uh, tracking with a dog? He has no food drive. I can tell you, give him one week, no eating, no no food. <laughs> and I can Not tell that you, we will do that. So. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, now, now, sometimes you have some dogs. I have I, my 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 youngest dog is now eleven months. Oh no! Oh no! Next week he wants he goes for a year, twelve months. He he has a food drive, but not yeah. on kibbles. Okay, he don't meat. like kibbles. He want only fresh meat. Now, fresh meat on your tracking field. <laughs> the birds like that. <laughs> Pretty sure. Man. Yes. So, mm, how can I do? Maybe just. Well, I, I would say if you're going to do fresh food or, or you know, indirect reward, right? Maybe. Um, yeah, you can do indirect reward, and 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 so, then you go step for step. You're learning to do that, Mark. Uh, when you go for your start and he got to to fix it to the pool and when you dog not have a f uh, food drive you think oh, well fuck you gotta go to the pool or how I can do that yeah. you can do that with uh, an uh, other behavior for him of an uh, more uh, like uh, some <laughs> other food like uh, an egg or uh, the chicken, the, the the chicken feet. Yeah. Oh, you got to look for uh, out of of your tracking what the dog like. Like the dog more, maybe uh, seafood, like fish or something. Yeah. <laughs> then you go uh, uh, <laughs> go to the ocean. <laughs> Big fish, <laughs> and you put some. Uh, Fish on your on your track. You got to always look for a uh, higher or something more behavior what he likes, and and, and yeah. that can be cables, that can be meat, that can be fish, that can be uh, my dogs. I I, I, have, I have one dog. He likes uh, blueberries. Oh really? Yes. Then I put blueberries on the on 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 the track. So I think or, the, the first uh, thing or the, the easiest thing you can do is um, if you if you if you want to go tracking, then feed your dog only on the track if the dog has not that good food drive. Um, yes. And then maybe switch to meat or some other high value reward that your dog likes, like blueberry, it could be an apple, whatever your dog likes. Uh, and then yeah, yeah. only give them the daily food on the track. So that would be the first step. Would would work, and I I'm pretty sure that this will work if you stay yes. consistent. Yes, yeah. When you stay consistent, yes, and that's yeah. the most problem for the most people. That's right. When you say you click, you give them food, they click, and they why 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 you don't give them food? Why you click and you don't give food? Oh, oh I yeah. forget. Always click food, click food, yeah. or Click, click, and there is no food. Click, click, he knows, all right, I did something good. Just when, then, when the dog net not do uh, tracking, you got something uh, found what he likes, or yeah. um, mostly my foods, my dogs, when, they give, when I give my dogs eats, they got to work for it, and that's tracking, that's yeah. obedience, Bite work. Uh, so Eric, hey guys, you got you. to work for your money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does the dog got to work for his? Got to work for our money. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we got to work for the money. Does the dog got to work for his money? And his money is okay. This is food or what he likes. Yeah. And sometimes so we have can a question for you. Think out of the box. Yes, come on. It's 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 Do just on the screen. Mm -hmm. It's from Tune. 
I like the dog more. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have now a dog who is far, very uh, high drive dog. And I like high drive dogs. But I don't like high drive dogs on the track. Because when it's dog high drive on the tracks, he gets more uh, faults on the tracks. Yeah. He don't find the article. He don't find the corners. He don't uh, like the circle because he go too fast. Yeah, but I think I think what he means is, do you like uh, a dog that does like this or a dog that? <laughs> Like no, 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 that's no, no, no. Oh, like that's sniffing. No, that's that's not the problem for me. So no. you don't care if he's sniffing. No, nope. uh, uh, if he's sniffing one time or three times in a footstep, yeah. it's for me not a problem. No, I like it when I hear him sniffing. Yeah. So, but it's intense. When I hear the dog sniffing, I give him more reward. Yeah. When I hear the dog sniffing, I give my dogs more reward. Also, when it's a remote in the footstep and I heard the dog more sniffing, yeah. or, m probably more when it's a pup. Uh, sometimes I give, uh, I throw more kibbles to him so he like it. And uh, yeah, and I also I like to hear yeah. him sniffing. But it, for me, it's not a problem when he's sniffing one, two, three times in a footstep and go yeah. to the other footsteps. No. So and this... So, so you know, the last thing to add to yeah, yeah. that is um, you see when the dog's really sniffing, they always have their mouth closed and you hear them sniffing through their nose. When the dog are yeah. doing that, they are not really sniffing. So right. it's also the, nope. the, the same my, in, in scent detection. Yes, my watch out with your, uh, your, 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 what you're saying. Also dogs, uh, sniffing with their nose, but also yeah. in the mouth they also can uh, take the the, uh, the smell of the food. Yes, but the most dogs do sniffing with the uh, close uh, uh, mouth or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I have a tube that I use. It's small, and so all my dogs are puppies. Uh, I reward them for. You know, when their nose goes in the tube, it's kind of like a scent tube, but it's, it's for sure just small. They have to close their, you know, their mouth to get their nose in and then order to sniff. And so I just, I mark that and reward mouth shut to ensure that they're getting a good, you know, sniff. Yeah. A good so sniff. Yes. George, George made a, a, a good point. If you're in a popo, you stay in your religion. If your dog is, uh, if your dog's food drive's not there, create it. Never seen a dog that allows himself to die so that's a good point just whatever system you're going to use um if you're just stay consistent you know and always you know make improvements make corrections but especially within the napopo system you you really if you're going to use existential food then don't start um using that as a criteria and then change yeah. it you know to something mm -hmm. else because now you know you change the language on your dog uh, you change your religion on your dog for, you know, and then now you, um, you know, it just confuses the dog. Keep the same picture going with the dogs. What's going to happen is if you change, then, you know, a month down the road, two months down the road, you're going to realize your change. You're going to realize your mistake. And then you're going to go back and try to correct it again. And your dog's even more confused. So um, anyway, just uh agree with that statement there it's pretty good yeah yeah it's a very good statement dominic yes mm. oh sorry oh, my bad and then, but that's yeah, also just... what i say in the in the first uh, opposition opposition i said uh on the the time i learn my track of i learn my dog's track and there's a problem you can always do uh, steps back and so you can take it up for the next beginning yep. maybe when when some well, uh, I have the question also uh, 
when is an article, the dogs are on the track, and you, you, you smell his article, the dogs go faster. Yeah. What are I going to do now? Yes, you can dig it, the article. You can put your article a little bit uh, smaller. But you can also take some food for the article, and he got to put, you got to, uh, more attention on the, on, the, on the lease, so he got to put yeah. that food before he take the article and when he's go fast to the article put the article away no reward track go and the dogs i can tell you the dogs things why i give no why i i have no food yeah. for my article this that's also my when you have a dog he's really slowly tracking or not really he slowly my he's normal uh, normal uh, tracking you don't do that yeah. a little bit uh, two or maybe three steps before he smell the article he puts and he lay down now that's not so problem the problem more is when he takes the corner and he go fast and then goes faster after the corner yeah 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 and he go fast and then and then that's that's more a problem for working on that than when you see the article, yeah, that, that's that's points lost in in in, in the article uh, in the in the trial. So if you if the dog um, is is changing his speed while tracking, or even in the corners, um, that's points points lost in the, in the trial. Yes, yes, and then you call me, Eric. Can you help? <laughs> Eric, me? Can you help me? <laughs> yes, and I say yes, I can. Come to my seminar or come to me, and I help you. Yeah. Yeah, so you have some upcoming seminars, right? Just, just let us know about your about your upcoming seminars, about your, your plans with uh, with Jack this year. So what what do yes. you have planned? Uh, we have we have uh, too much plans, <laughs> but that's not the problem. No, we give uh, in uh, yes over, over next week we give a seminar. In uh, March we give a two day seminar. Uh, it, it's tracking in uh, then in April we go to the world championship for Jack in uh, Romania yeah. and uh, maybe it's a little bit uh, we wait for the answer we give also on the road to do the, uh, a seminar for tracking in Romania then we came mm -hmm. in Romania then we do where? oh yeah 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 in Romania yeah, yeah. And uh, then we are we going back after three weeks to do there. Also, we have the FMBBI there yeah. for the world champion in the same area. Then we come back. Then we have uh, a seminar for the Dobermans. And that's in, I think it was May. Yes. And... We give in August a boot camp seminar. The, oh. We are the first one in Holland. We give there tracking, obedience, and bite work. The A, B, and Cs. Yeah, the ABC. Uh, yes, the ABC is for IGP. <laughs> uh, there's uh, everyday tracking, everyday obedience, and every evening we do also uh, bike work and we have so many people that we now want to do that maybe uh, in June the same because there's so many people yeah. that, that we think how we can do that. If you have dates, just let me know about that. I'm pretty interested in the, in the boot camp. So, just let me know and then come just come by and we're gonna have some some fun yeah yeah fun yeah but now we have the boot camp there are some people from uh, sweden uh, france uh, also um, germany uh, the, uh, uh, maybe in from litauen the that was the last time in yeah. uh, in January, we also have some uh, one of from Litauen, uh, some people out in Denmark. 
there's the, the, the yeah, rules coming cool. to it, us. It, it, it sounds like it's a little bit sounds like like uh, yeah, you 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 did your you made your passion to a little bit like like your job. I mean, like a like a jobby and. and I, th I think that's yes, pretty that's cool. If you, if you if you like being on the road and teaching people and going with with your friend Jack um, from from place to place in different countries and teaching people, I think that's awesome. That's the best yeah. thing yes, you yes. do. Yes. Like, yes, we meet each other uh, for some ten years ago, or uh, yeah. and, and we we training together, and 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 some yeah, uh, we talk together and say. Can we do that? There's nobody in uh, in the Netherlands do that. How we can do that now? And we have a tryout, and there was yeah. so many people, and now it's mm, more and more and more. This then, uh, yeah. Then I, have, I also know in June we have also a seminar. Yes, yeah. so five seminars, I think. So it's. Yeah, send it to us, and we can maybe make a post in the in the group. And um, you yeah, know. just send us dates, and we, we just post in the group. And maybe if somebody's in the area, yeah. yes, we, we, okay, it's no problem. We can do it. And also, uh, right, the next the next seminar, yeah, the next seminar is by Mike <laughs> on his news <Yeah>. festivity. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, yeah, we, yeah. We'll host some. We'll host them. We'll have a. We host them. A facility pretty hopefully within a few um hopefully we'll open or uh, we plan on opening february the first if everything goes right but man, there's a lot of work between now and then so we don't have uh anyway a lot of work between now and then yeah so we'll see we'll see daunting but off you come to Dominic. Dominic is also oh, do man. want to do a, a seminar of us. Yeah, That's perfect. Also a good idea. Yeah. You know the price. Yeah, you told me. We get that homeboy <laughs> discount. <laughs> <laughs> homeboy discount. <laughs> no. All right, guys. I got to get out of All here. Right. Out of time. But All it, right. It was fun. So I think a lot of questions got answered. I think there were some good good content in there and um, if anybody else has any questions pertaining to this um, drop them in the comments and we'll you know we'll get to them and if you have any um if you have any questions about tracking then maybe uh you know uh an application from a nopopo standpoint drop those in the comments too and dominic or i you know there's other 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 plenty of other people who can jump on there who have you know, you can, can, you can also yeah, well, uh, text me per, private. This not so problem. Yeah, yeah. So uh, follow. I think his link's probably in the in the. Uh, I mean, you can find him um, on Facebook pretty easily. I don't think there's too many people that have the same name, at least not stateside. Yeah, um, we would just post 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 the profile in in the yeah, comments. We'll his, yeah, we'll put his link uh, profile link in the in the comments so that you can find him pretty easily to ask him questions and. And, and uh, we also would really appreciate if you have any questions or if you have any videos of you tracking with maybe problem solving or something, uh, just post it in the group and uh, yeah, everybody can watch it and maybe we find a solution together for for the problems and yeah, yeah, yeah keeps the group alive and that'd we be can pretty learn awesome. from each other. Yep. All, All right, right, guys. All Eric, right, guys. Thanks for joining in again. Hey. All right. Thank you very All much right. for the opportunity and. All the best.